Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's September 15th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Chris, thanks for being here this week. Thanks, Mike. Uh, so we said last week the uh, market was looking forward to getting some more insight on inflation data. CPI came out uh, right in line with their expectations. What did that tell people? Yeah, so I mean, with that data, the market saw two basis point widening in the muni space uh, relative to the, to the treasury market that showed some outperformance. A lot of that stuff had little effect on the yields. A lot of that was priced in and expected. So there was really nothing unexpected in those releases and nothing really swayed the market one way or another. What are people looking forward to next? The uh, next Fed meeting is starting to come up, right? Uh, that is coming up. I think right now people are anticipating no movement in the Fed. Um, and I think like it has been in most recent uh, decisions, a lot of the the dialogue and the verbiage from the Fed will be heavily watched. Right. People watching a uh, longer term as to whether they might be uh, nearing the peak of this uh, rating cycle. Saw some interesting uh, reports on that today. Uh, people pointing out that the interest rates in the market typically peak a few months before the peak of the interest rate uh, tightening cycle by the Fed. So uh, there's some speculation we might be seeing that uh, right now. Uh, relatively quiet in the new issue markets as, uh, as interest rates have gone up the last couple of weeks. Uh, what did you see this weekend uh, for BAM? Uh, so we're seeing a lot of those small to medium-sized issuers come to market. Um, a couple of notable deals. There was a $17.5 million Meyer Ranch mud in Texas that priced competitively that Hilltop purchased with BAM Insurance. And then there was a $16.5 million Antioch USD price in the negotiated market with Raymond James. Thanks, Chris. And as we said, looking ahead to next week, a relatively light total calendar, just $4.2 billion expected to price. What are you watching from a BAM insured perspective? Sure. I mean, the market is expecting some supply to come in the fourth quarter and that to increase the calendar, but it's definitely not coming next week with the $4.2 billion that you alluded to. Um, there's a lot of chunkier transactions in the high grade space pricing. San Diego USD and Philadelphia Water and Sewer are two large transac transactions that are accounting for over a billion one of that calendar. And there's a couple of other larger transactions sprinkled in there as well. Um, on the BAM side, there's a Palmdale ESD transaction pricing next week with Ramirez in the go negotiated market, and that will total roughly $25 million. And we're also seeing some other um, activity coming in the competitive space. There's a dozen uh, Texas MUDs expected to price, and some of those will be in that 10 to $30 million par range. So we'll be following those pretty closely. Yeah, we are getting into that late fall uh, season is typically when the Texas MUDs finance their transactions. So that'll probably be a, a steady stream of business for the next couple of weeks. Uh, looking right. further ahead, uh, people can visit our YouTube page. We just posted a Credit Insights video for an $82 million Coatesville area school district transaction in Pennsylvania. That's going to price uh, the week after next, the week of September 25th. So uh, people can visit our website to learn more about that transactions on the longer term. Thanks for your time this week, Chris. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.